All right, hello everybody and welcome to the Florida Physique Report, episode number 35. Today is June 11th, 2015, and it's been a couple weeks since we've had a Florida Physique Report. I think our last one was about uh, two weeks ago, and uh, we had a lot of things going on over the last few weeks. Of course, I promoted my natural Suncoast Classic, and uh, that's why we are a little behind on the Florida Physique Report, because I was very, very busy with that. If you've ever promoted the show before, you know what I'm talking about. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. So anyways, we're going to talk today uh, about what's coming up in the month of June. Uh, we are now in the summer season for MPC Florida Bodybuilding, and we've got a lot of shows coming up this month in the month of June, so we're going to talk about that. And uh, then we're going to go over uh, my competition, which was the MPC Natural Suncoast. This was our second year promoting the show. We had a really, really good turnout. Uh, 80 competitors compared to about 53 last year, so only our second year, it's turning out really good. So we're going to do something a little bit different. We've got the photo report on floridaphysique.com, so if you want to check that out, you can check out the full results of the show, pictures of all the classes, you can see all the winners, everything is right up on floridaphysique.com. But what we're going to talk about today is the top five things that happened at the MPC Natural Sun Coast Classic, the top five events that happened. And then we're going to talk about last week's competition, which was the Tampa Bay Classic. And the Tampa Bay Classic is one of the oldest competitions in the Florida area. I think it's right up there with the southern states and maybe the All South. I think those are both our, our oldest competitions in Florida. This is our 33rd year. John Schleicher is the promoter of the competition. And uh, it's a really, really great show. Very classy show, a lot of competitors. I think they had over 125 competitors this year. So we're gonna talk about the top five things that happened at the Tampa Bay Classic. And then finally, we're gonna have an interview with uh, the winner of the bikini division. Her name was Honeylith Padue. And a pretty interesting story. She's over 40 years old, and Honeylith cleaned up in her very first contest at the Tampa Bay Classic. She won the Masters in the over 40 and the over 30 division, then she won the Novice, and then she won the Open. I mean, talk about a great night. So we're going to have a short interview with Honeylith Padu uh, right after we talk about what happened with these competitions. All right, so let's start off with what's coming up in the Florida area. Uh, this weekend, we've got the Junior Nationals taking place in Chicago. That's going to be June 12th and 13th. And that's going to be, of course, at the Hyatt Regency O'Hare in Chicago, right by O'Hare Airport. And I will be down there covering the show. We'll be taking some pictures of the competition as well as uh, doing some interviews. Got a lot of competitors from the Florida area competing down there. Also, Coach Jessica Reyes Padilla is going to be competing from Puerto Rico. And if you've been watching the FloridaPhysique.com website, we've had some training videos with Jessica because she came out here to Tampa a couple weeks ago and shot about four training videos. She's really got a great chance of winning the figure division. So we're going to have some great interviews uh, this weekend from uh, the Junior Nationals. Also taking place this weekend in Florida is the Central Florida District Championships, which is promoted by Deb Callahan. That'll be uh, June 13th out in Lakeland, Florida. And of course, I will not be there, but we're going to have Mike Matassa there taking pictures and covering the show. So we'll talk to Mike next week about what went on at the Florida District Championships. I believe this is going to be a national qualifier for the first time ever uh, for the overall winner. So great place to get a national qualification if you're looking for that. Um, if you want more information on that, go to debsgymandmore.com. That's the website. Uh, next week, on June 20th, the Bill, Bill Wilmore Classic is taking place in Hollywood, Florida. And I believe Dan Esslinger from D4 Muscle is going to be out there covering the show for us. Of course, Bill Wilmore is a professional bodybuilder, and he's been holding the show for a couple years now. If you want information on that, go to, the, go to BillWilmoreClassic.com. Also on the 20th, the Mid-Florida Classic, which is promoted by Deke Warner, is going to take place in Orlando, Florida. It's going to be at a new location, the Rosen Shingle Creek Ballroom. So if you want information on that, go to DeekWarner.com. Always a great show. In fact, the Mid-Florida Classic was the first contest we ever covered on FloridaPhysique.com. So FloridaPhysique.com is coming up on its one-year birthday. We've been doing this now for one year. All right, finally, on the last weekend of June, on June 27th, we've got a very big contest out in West Palm Beach, Florida, which is the West Palm Beach Anna Level Championships 
this was a really big show last year. A lot of top level bikini and men's physique competitors were in this show. So that's going to be a big contest. We're going to have somebody down south covering that contest for us. And also on the 27th, the Sunset Classic, which is promoted by Ronnie Milo. Uh, I believe that takes place in Bradenton, Florida. So we'll, I'll be at that show checking that out. So that's what's coming up uh, in the month of June. we got a very busy month, of course, in the month of June. All right, now let's talk about uh, my competition, which was the MPC Natural Suncoast Classic, our second year. This is a drug-tested show, and we were very proud to have uh, some urinalysis testing at the show this year compared to just the regular polygraph testing, which I believe is a little bit more effective. We had a really good turnout of competitors um, all across the board in all the physique divisions, uh, men's physique. We had a couple women's physique competitors, um, good figure lineup, a lot of bikini competitors, and we even had some good male bodybuilders. All right, so as I said, if you want to check out the photo report, just go to our photo report section, and you can check out all the photos and all the winners from the Natural Sun Coast Classic. I'm going to talk about the top five things that happened at the NPC Natural Sun Coast Classic. Uh, number five, Chris Dickerson singing the national anthem. I was really proud to be able to bring out 1982 Mr. Olympia Chris Dickerson and he was able to sing the national anthem. Chris at a young 75 years of age really belted out the national anthem. The crowd went crazy. What a great way to start the show. Chris, for those that don't know it, has a background in opera singing. He studied opera singing in New York. So he sang the national anthem at the Mr. Olympia contest a couple years ago. And I was looking for a great singer to sing the national anthem because I always like to have a singer. I don't want to play a tape of uh, someone else singing it. I like to have it live. And I thought about Chris. He's already here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So we brought him in for the weekend just so he could sing it. And he really, really did a fantastic job. So that was a great event to have Chris there. Number four, we had uh, a couple overall winners who just cleaned up across the board. John Puskarich was our male bodybuilder winner in the men's open bodybuilding and he also won the masters bodybuilding so he won the over 40 then he goes in the open and he wins the overall there too also Kayla Proper did the same thing in the bikini division she won the novice bikini and then she goes into the open and she wins both so she cleaned up in the bikini division and finally Claudia Nadeau did the same thing in the figure division she won the uh, novice division and then she went in the open figure and won that. So three big winners, uh, John Puskarich, Kyla Proper, and Claudia Nadeau really cleaned up by winning several divisions and brought home a lot of trophies. And of course, they all got their Conan victory swords that they brought home. All right, number three, Aaron Reed, guest poser. When's the last time you ever seen a six foot seven, 270 pound guest poser? Aaron Reed, who trains right here at our gym, young guy, he's about 33 years old, hasn't competed in about five years. This guy's a monster, six foot seven. I don't think there's any other bodybuilders out there as big as him. And he's really improved his physique over the years. He's a natural bodybuilder, so he was a great guest poser to have at my natural uh, Suncoast Classic. And he was going into the Su Tampa Bay Classic a week later, so I said, why not come out and uh, do your posing routine and get warmed up for the show? So he was amazing. He looked incredible. When you see a guy six foot seven that has worked on his physique and filled it out, and Aaron's got not only a big guy, but he's also a very classical physique, big legs. You don't see big legs too often on a guy who's six foot seven. And he does a lot of Frank Zane type poses, does that Arnold three quarter back perfectly. You could tell he studied a lot of the classical bodybuilding routines, and he nailed it. And he was a fantastic guest poser. So that was our number three on the uh, list of things that happened at the Natural Sun Coast Classic. Number two, Santiago Aragon, another guest poser. Santiago won the welterweight class at the MPC Nationals last year. He's right here in the Florida area, he lives in South Florida. And uh, I saw that MPC Nationals and I was really impressed with Santiago. Not only was his physique incredibly conditioned, probably one of the most conditioned guys on that whole stage that night, but he had the desire to win and he came up there and you could say this guy was really serious about winning he uh, he visualized himself as the winner and he came there to win and he did I'm sure he won first place uh, votes unanimously in the welterweight class but what really impressed me about Santiago was his posing routine it was incredible it was like Lee Labrada all over again you know I felt like I was going back 20 years watching Lee Labrada he's got a lot of Lee Labrada poses very fluid poser there's a lot of lunging poses 
timed it perfectly to the music. He posed it two songs in a row, did a fantastic job. So if you're looking for a great guest poser in the Florida area, definitely, or any area actually, get Santiago Aragon. This kid's a really great poser. He's taking this year off, building up his size. He's going to compete in his pro debut next year at the Toronto Pro. All right, uh, the number one thing that happened was we had all three guest posers, Santiago Aragon, Aaron Reed, and our featured guest poser, Jose Raymond, all came out and posed together. After Jose did his posing routine, uh, Aaron was standing backstage watching, and he had his clothes on. I said, Aaron, go out there. So Aaron ran out there, took his clothes off on stage to the delight of the female audience, and uh, he posed with him. Of course, uh, Jose's only about five foot five, so having five foot five Jose go up against six foot seven Aaron Reed was really a sight to see. And then Santiago was watching from the front row, so he jumped up on stage, and all three of them were guest posing together. So the crowd loved it. It was great. Also, I got to mention one other thing, uh, a little added addition. Another thing that happened was Jose Raymond told his story about meeting Arnold Schwarzenegger. And if you didn't see the Arnold Classic this year, when Jose won the 212 division, Jose told the story to Arnold on stage. And of course, Arnold sort of cut him off a little bit because they were pressed for time. So I brought Jose up on stage and he was able to tell the whole story about how he uh, met Arnold way back in 1999 when he was just a kid. And he just ran into Arnold on Venice Beach and Arnold stopped and was telling him to hit some poses and it was a great story, so you got to check it out. How are you doing? You look, you look fantastic. <laughs> what are you doing over there? I just competed last night and didn't do too well. I was like, oh, you look great. It was the most impressive. So I moved around a lot and I gave him a bicep. I said, no, you need a bicep. You need to find a bicep. I'm posing for him. He's going crazy. He's like, oh, you look so great. It's on floridaphysique.com in our interview section, so check that out. All right, uh, let's go over the Tampa Bay Classic. As I said, a huge show promoted in Tampa, Florida. Unfortunately, we were not able to get the photos of the show for a photo report. But, uh, I do have the results of the contest in our uh, contest report section if you want to check out who placed where. And I will tell you the top five things that happened at the Tampa Bay Classic. In number five, uh, Pete Fancher, who is the district chairman for the Central Florida area, was given an award by promoter John Schleicher. It was an honorary award for Pete for all the work he's done in the Florida area. I mean, this guy really works hard for probably over 30 years now. Pete has been judging competitions, promoting competitions, and now he's the district chairman. He is there every weekend. He travels all over the state every single weekend helping promote the shows, register all the competitors, and judge the shows. And if you've never judged a show before, it's a very thankless task. It's very hard. It's a long day. You don't get paid much. And really, the only competitors that are usually happy are the ones that win. So it's not, a, it's not an easy task. So hats off to Pete Fancher, and uh, congratulations to John Schleicher for rewarding Pete Fancher with that award. And number four, uh, the guest posers. For the guest posers at the Tampa Bay Classic, John Schleicher brought in Omar and Angie Garcia, who are from the South Florida area, and they did a mixed pairs posing routine. If you've been around the sport of bodybuilding for a while, you can remember back in the 80s, mixed pairs was a big uh, event, and they always had it as a competition, and then it sort of died off, and they don't have it anymore. But Omar and Angie, who are a married couple, brought back the mixed pairs for a, a posing exhibition. It was really, really good, very impressive. Um, John said they worked on it for the last year doing it together, and it was a very classical, long routine, but it was very good, and the audience really loved it. So that was the number four thing that happened at the Tampa Bay Classic. And number three, uh, a special award was given in honor of Jay Zier. Jay Zier passed away last year at this competition. In between the prejudging and night show, uh, Jay passed away of a heart attack. So, in order to honor his memory, John Schleicher brought his family to the show, and he brought the family up on stage, and they said from now on, the over 40 division at the Tampa Bay Classic would be known as the Jay Zier Award. Um, so they awarded Derek Scott, who was uh, the over 40 winner. The family came up and awarded him the trophy. So that was very, very impressive. And congratulations again to John Schleicher for such a classy move. Um, he could have just ignored it. 
you know, and just not even mentioned it. But instead, he honored uh, Jay Zier's name and brought his family in, and I thought that was very, very impressive. Number three, our bikini winner, who we're going to have an interview with in a minute. Uh, Honey Lith Padu is her name. She is a stay-at-home mom. She's a retired military uh, veteran after 20 years in the military, and she decided in her 40s to start competing. She's, I think she's 42 years old, did her very first show, and cleaned up. I mean, cleaned the board. She did the Masters in the over 40 and won that. Then she did the Masters in the over 30 and won that. Obviously, she was the Masters overall winner. Then she went into the Novice Bikini, won that against a, a big group of competitors, and then went into the Open, in which they had, I believe, four different height classes, won her height class, and won the overall. I think she brought home about seven trophies. What an amazing night for Honey Lift Padue. And we got an interview with her, as I said, coming up right after our break. And number one, the number one thing that happened at the Tampa Bay Classic this year, Alex Cipriano did the posing routine of a lifetime. Alex Cipriano is a teen bodybuilder. He came out, and every once in a while, somebody comes out with a posing routine that really connects with the audience, and it's just an amazing thing to watch. As bodybuilding fans, we wait for this moment to come along, and it doesn't happen too often, but it happens Saturday night at the Tampa Bay Classic. Alex Cipriano came out and did his posing routine in the teen bodybuilding division, and he nailed it. I don't know the song he did, it was some kind of dance song, but he had it perfectly choreographed. He was very confident in his presentation of it. The audience was just caught up in the moment of it, and you could feel the momentum building as, he, as Alex did his routine. And by the end of the routine, the audience went nuts. I very rarely heard an ovation for someone to doing a posing routine like I heard for Alex Cipriano that night. This kid could guest pose at all the shows next year. I mean, he was amazing. Not to mention, he's also got a great physique. Really good shape, good muscle mass, and ripped to shreds. Um, if he would have had a really good field, he still would have won. And I believe Alex won the Teenage Division last year at the Orlando Metro in Orlando, Florida, promoted by Sean Maloney. And uh, I think he did the same routine. But this time, the connection that he had with the audience, it was just amazing. So it was a great experience to see that. Even Pete Fancher mentioned it when he got his award. So it was a really great thing to see. All right, that's the top five things that happened at the Tampa Bay Classic this year. We're going to hear from our sponsors. We'll be right back. And when we come back, we're going to have our interview with Honey Lith Padue, the bikini winner at the Tampa Bay Classic this year. We'll be right back with the Florida Physique Report. Welcome back to the Florida Physique Report, and today my special guest is Honey Lift Padua, who really cleaned up last week at the Tampa Bay Classic. Uh, Honey Lift was in the bikini division, and let me get this straight, Honey Lift, you won the bikini open, you won the bikini novice, you won the bikini masters over 40 and over 30. <laughs> yes, sir. Wow, that was amazing. And this was like, really like your first big show, right? Your first MPC show. Yes, it was. Oh, that's, it was a great night, huh? Yes, it was. It was very unbelievable for me. Now, what were your expectations going into the show? Were you, were you expecting to do that good? or? Uh, well, I really didn't have any expectations. I've been working hard, and 
honestly, I just wanted some really nice pictures of me on stage. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing more for the pictures than uh, the, the placings, right? Yes. So tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been weight training? What's your What's your background like? Well, I was in the military. I retired at 21 years. And while I was in the military, I just worked out to stay fit, to pass my PT test. Mm -hmm. I wasn't an athlete in school or anything. Okay. Uh, but about two years ago, I, I started really getting into it. And uh, December is when I started training for this show. I got mm -hmm. on a really strict uh, workout program and diet and just try to do my best. Okay. Now, do you have a coach or were you doing it pretty much on your own? Uh, I do have a coach. Okay. So tell us a little bit about your training and your diet and, and preparation for the show. I, well, for me, it was pretty intense. Um, you know, just a lot of plyos, uh, weight training, uh, going towards the show. I did have to, you know, up the cardio to two times a day. Okay. Uh, the food was pretty much consistent all the way through. Mm -hmm. How long did you diet specifically for the show? Uh, like I said, I started the whole process in December. Oh, wow. Okay. So a good five months then, huh? Dieting yes. and training. Yes. Now, was this training that you were doing for the contest, was that different than what you had been doing before with weight training? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't think that I've ever incorporated plyos. That That is all new to me. Mm -hmm. So plyos with weight training and also cardio, I think that's what made it uh, intense for me. Yeah. So how did you feel about the competition going in? Um, you know, like when you did, what was the first division they judged? Was it the Masters? Yes, it was the Masters over 40. Okay. How did you feel about that show? Like, how did you feel how you did after the pre-judging? Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of strange because I don't really try to compare myself with the other competitors. Mm-hmm. I really am competing with myself and everybody is their worst critic so I always see my flaws and it's like oh you know is this going to be good enough so really this was all about how I wanted to compete against myself. Okay. I felt great, I was really nervous Yeah. Um, but after the first time on stage then everything else was just you know let's have fun. Yeah, yeah. How did you feel your body looked going into the show? Did you feel like you were going to do well or you just were basically doing it just for yourself? I was doing it for myself. Okay. Yes. Well, that's a great attitude to have because then there's no pressure, right? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> because I completely understand that there are younger girls, there are pretty yeah. younger girls, you know, and, and that's, you know, I think if you keep it for yourself, then there can't be any disappointments. Right, right. You're doing it for you and, and then... No matter where you place it, you're okay, right? Yes. So now going into the night show, um, you win the over 40, and then you went into the over 30 also, and you won that. So obviously you won the Masters overall because you won both divisions. Yes. And then you go into the novice, and you win that. And the novice wasn't age group, so you were competing against younger girls. How did yeah. you feel when you won, took first place in the novice? I... It, like I said, it was unbelievable mm -hmm. to be up against a wide range of ages. Yeah. Oh, it, I, I was speechless. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then you go into the Open, and not only do you win your class, you win the overall there also. Yes. Yes. So, like what I an said, amazing night. Unbelievable huh? night. Yeah. How many trophies did you get, honey? Seven. Seven <laughs> trophies, including the big one. <laughs> Big one, right? So, what are your thoughts now? It's been a couple of days since the show. How do you how do you feel? Have you been able to process everything that's coming? You know, that happened on that night. Uh, well, the next day I was uh, overwhelmed with emotion. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that people go through in their lives, and when I sat there looking at all of them, you know, I did have to cry because yeah. it was emotional just to know the things that I've been through in my life and how I felt about myself and just to see all of those uh, little bronze ladies sitting in front of me, <laughs> right. it just, you know, it, it made me feel good about my myself, about myself. Um, and like I said, just, just the word is unbelievable. Yeah. 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 A lot of people who don't compete, don't realize it, it is pretty emotional because 
you know, all that training you go through and all the dieting, it's really deprivation and it's for months. So when it's all over with, especially when you do well, like you did, um, it does sort of hit you the day after. Yes. So what are you going to do next? What do you think? Well, the overall winners of this show were invited to compete in the Southern States, okay. which will be in July. So I've already registered for that. Okay. And I'm just going to go one show at a time. Yeah. Did you have a chance to talk to the judges or the promoter afterwards and, and see what they thought? Uh, I thanked Mr. Schleicher. Yeah. Think, yes. And I did get to speak to one of the judges for a critique. What did he say? Uh, he suggested that um, I just get a little more muscular in the shoulders and tighten up the, you know, hamstring and glute. Area. Okay. Yes. And then, uh, you know, just some other uh, stage appearance things, you know, my makeup and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> now, you said you were a little bit nervous on stage. How do you feel you did on stage? Because you look good to me. I mean, I, I would have never thought that was your first time. Uh, well, the the first category, you know, just 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 the nerves, you know, yeah. my, my knees were weak. <laughs> I practiced and I practiced, and you know, I felt that I had my routine down. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was just the nerves, just yeah. just the nerves. That's all. But that was just initially in the prejudging, and then after that, it was better. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Southern States is a really good show. It's a very big show, so I think you'll you'll do really well there. Are you going to do the uh, Masters and uh, Open there, or just the Masters? Uh, I will compete in anything that I'm eligible for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then how about uh, national level shows? Have you given any thought to that, or it's still too soon for that? Um, since I'm so new in this sport, yeah, I really don't know what is next. Okay. So you really haven't given much thought to doing like a pro yeah. card or anything like that? Oh gosh, no! I, I don't, I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what do you do for a living after retiring from the Air Force? I'm a stay-at-home mother. Oh, okay. Yes, I have two children, and I just take care of them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I I wanted to talk to you because I thought that was an amazing uh, amazing accomplishment you did on Saturday at the Tampa Bay Classic. You know, I, it's very rare you see someone clean up like that and win everything. And uh, like I said, you even won the over 30, the over 40, novice overall, open overall. So it was a really, really great night. And I congratulate you. And I thought you looked great. And I uh, wish you all the best uh, at the Southern States coming up. Thank you so much. All right, honey. Thanks for joining us on the Florida Physique Report. And we'll look for you at the uh, Southern States. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks for joining us for the Florida Physique Report, episode number 35. We'll be back next week, uh, joined by Mike Matassa, who's going to be telling us about the top five things that happened at the Central Florida District Championships promoted this, by Deb Callahan this week in Lakeland, Florida. I'm also going to tell you about the top five things that happened at the Junior National Championships out in Chicago. And watch FloridaPhysique.com next week. We're going to have a lot of uh, interviews and also a photo report from the, Florida, from the Junior Nationals. And that will all be on uh, FloridaPhysique.com. Uh, we'll see you next week, folks. Have a great weekend. Thanks.